So you saw the title, right? I'm starting a brand new training or coaching offer. Uh, in the very first month, we did about $12,000 in sales, okay? And we spent about 2,500 bucks in ads to generate it, so pure cold traffic. So in this video, and really in this video series, what I wanna do is uh, just very intelligently document the process of you know growing this business. So this video is gonna be a super long video. I'm gonna talk about like this first month here. So October of 2024 here, it's the 25th, so we could you know, make some more sales by the end of the month, but we've had three, just about four students roll over the line uh, to the new offer. And just so you know, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you kind of the business plan that I wrote up about a month and a week ago, five weeks ago, and then kind of show you the progress that I've made on that business plan. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the funnel, talk about the offer, and just go into all of that you know, show you the ad, show you everything, really just document the whole process because the goal is that this becomes, you know, a, a larger business. Uh, and I just think it's cool if, you know, I can sort of document some of that, obviously not like live documenting it, even though that would be super dope. I'm not doing that because it's just, that's just too much for me to think about right now. Um, but I'm gonna show you the business plan, show you the funnel, talk about it a little bit, talk about who I'm putting where and how I'm hiring people and stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, so it'll be a great video for just like a case study of, you know, starting a coaching business. And uh, what we're doing is we're targeting Christian men, particularly, it's kind of like a sub niche. Um, and we're helping them start online based uh, content businesses. So basically doing like short form content services. Because um, back in 2018, 2019, that's how I got started online was I did little digital marketing services for businesses and stuff like that. And so I just figured it'd be super cool and meaningful for me personally to get to do that for other people. So I've partnered with a good friend of mine named Tom who makes about 15 grand a month with this. And he's going to be our head of delivery for now. And, and we'll see how that continues to go. We're finalizing the course today. So what I want to do is um, just break down like everything that I'm working on, how it's going, uh, what I'm learning about, you know, kind of the industry right now and how things stand. I mean, nothing's necessarily new, you know, I mean, it's all the same stuff. It's the same stuff that I teach my clients when I'm helping them scale their coaching business. Now, the plan, I, my goal is to get this to a couple million dollars a year at least, right? So two or three million dollars a year uh, business. It could probably be a bigger business. It could probably, like with the economics that I'm seeing in the funnel right now, it could probably be a much larger business. But I don't have a lot of interest in the operational complexity of it being that big. So my goal is, honestly, for it to be my main cash cow and then for helping other coaches to kind of just be like a really lean, profitable thing that I get to do and I get to spend more personal time with people. I don't think that the helping coaches business is one that I should scale out. I think it should be very intimate time with myself. You know, I'm, I'm helping people get to 100 to 500 grand a month with their offers. And then I have uh, this other business that I kind of, that I, that I run both as a case study for, for the coaching business, but also um, just because like, look, I, I just am very passionate about the mission. So I wanna talk about, um, yeah, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and uh, kind of talk about what's going on. And um, yeah, I just think it'd be a cool series, so stick around for it. I don't know how many parts this is gonna be, but I'm just gonna be sharing like what I'm working on, how I'm working on it, and it might even be just like some verbal processing for me, you know, like live for you so that you can learn and so that I can learn. So I'm gonna hop into my computer, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start by showing you guys a, a Google Doc actually that I wrote up. Uh, actually for my students in our main uh, program, which would be odds being the one that you would join if you decided to get my support. And I was just kind of walking them through like uh, the process of growing this thing. So let me, let me pull this up. So, so I'm gonna walk through this real quick. So company mission, okay, is, is where you gotta start with anything. You know, if you watched my, I don't know if it would be my last video at this point or one of my videos on this channel, I talked about that book, The Motive. And if you don't have a mission behind what you're doing, it's, it's really pretty hard to rally people around it. You know, I want to have a mission-driven organization. If it's not mission-driven, then everything falls apart, right? And so if I want this thing to get to, you know, three or four sales reps, a coach and an assistant to the coach, and a big scaled-out community of a couple hundred students and that whole thing, like, the way that we're going to get there and the way that we're going to get through tough seasons is by believing in a mission. And we're passionate about men, and particularly Christian men. Right, which is which is written into the mission as well, but our our goal is uh, to help them with develop a timeless skill, 
to create escape velocity, enough income and earning potential to look beyond their current circumstances and build for a better future for their families or current ones and the margin to give, ideally unlocking further opportunities for them beyond this vehicle. So our goal is really just to empower men. Like we're, we're targeting men. Now we have had some leads who book calls and like, hey, like can my wife join this or, or whatever? And that is something that we would do as well, obviously. Um, but it's mostly for men. And then I'm, I've got some values, and you can read these here. They're relatively straightforward, right? I mean, these are, well, I'm kind of down-talking them. I, I, I think my psychology is that, like, if I don't have this in place, then nothing else works. I need to have, like, what we stand for and who we really are before we do anything else. Because if I just have a funnel and I just have a freaking offer, like, that's not something that people can, like, get behind, rally behind, work towards, and that makes it really, really hard to, to grow a meaningful business, right? So, you know, our values are student obsessed. So we're here to change lives. So everything that we do is for the students. So our goal is to fulfill on the mission, right? Our goal is to help students make five, 10, 20 grand a month online with this model, right? Uh, another value is no stone unturned. That means we'll do everything all the way, no matter the thing. So whether that's, you know, handling an upset student or whether that's, you know, redefining our marketing and changing it or whether that's, um, you know, the course and making sure that it's really well made. Uh, you know, no stone unturned means everything that we do, we're doing it all the way. You know, there's nothing that we do halfway. There's nothing that we leave kind of sort of done. And then you got standards over goals. So we don't have goals. We have standards. So, you know, for, for me, like I have big revenue and student impact goals. You know, I want to reach a quarter million a month at least. Like that's like bare minimum what I want to reach. And um, I want to have, you know, at least call it, you know, five to ten new students a month who are full time with this you know, and can control their hours and control their income. Um, test small scale big. So we take calculated risk with our time and energy. And if it pans out, well, we move bold and fast. This includes in marketing, sales, and client delivery instances, right? So like if we test something in students and in, in, in student delivery in the course and it works really well, we do more of that. If we test it doesn't work, we, we eliminate it. So we're very quick to test and change. And then speed, success loves speed. So, you know, within a week of this idea being formed, we had ads going, the funnel live, and I mean, I personally built everything. So I built the funnel, I recorded the ads, I did everything, right? Uh, and there's stuff that we're missing in marketing still, and we're still, we still have the cash returns that we have because, you know, I think, I think prospects can tell how mission-driven we are and how convicted we are that this is a great op opportunity for people. So you've got kind of the core offer, you know, who we're going after, the outcome, the mechanism, um, and we ended up calling it content connector. So I think, you know, who, what you're doing, and how you're doing it need to find. Price tag has changed. It's actually no longer this. It's, it's uh, I think we're just doing 3800 flat, right? It's kind of where we're at. Um, and then we have a six month money back policy. Meaning if they don't make back their initial 3800 uh, in six months, then we'll just give them their money back, right? All right, I think we're actually at 4800 Core deliverables, uh, quarterly client meetups, weekly group calls, um, direct one-to-one -one support, detailed online course outlining everything. Um, and so that's kind of the core deliverables, right? And then as well, and this hasn't been written into the doc, but I'm going to write it now, uh, we help source... Uh, source editors and help them I mean you know resource editors speeds up their success um, massively because they're doing short form content services for businesses right so having editors is, is huge um, messaging just some thoughts on messaging you know what I mean like some some ideas here and then I've got key roles now and you can read all this if you want to you can pause and, and, and take a look at it but so these are my marketing and sales aims. Now, month one, we actually m met month one, uh, except for this. So we overspent on ads, mostly because, I mean, I just, I just couldn't find a good ad, couldn't find a good audience for a sec. And then I also uh, tested some stuff in the funnel where instead of them going straight to the booking, they fill out a form before they book, which financially qualifies them. And then we got like way less bookings. Um, and then there for like a couple of days, like I wasn't able to take calls because I was traveling. So we overspent, but you know, like we totally can create this return. Uh, and I learned that this month, uh, I, I even, I had probably like two, I had like one sales call that really should have closed, but I kind of just slipped up on it. So, you know, these numbers are so delicate because the, the testing budget's so small, you know, so I'm not too worried about it. Next month, this is gonna be pretty hard to hit, honestly, because 
I'm not sure that we'll have this level of return, but I'm aiming for it. I'm gunning for it. So eight grand in spend, 40,000 in sales. I don't want to push for this until the course is done and until we have uh, an outstanding happy student. We have some students who are doing pretty well, but not quite to my standard. And so I kind of want to take some time, slow down and, and do that first, right? But yeah, once we can get a happy customer, I mean, we have happy customers. They're just not like succeeding at the level that I want them to in their first 30 days. So I'm thinking month two will actually slow down a little bit because I don't want to, um, I, I don't want to like create uh, too much, you know, liability for us. Like we've got a handful of good students and we're starting there and that's great. And I want to really dial things in with them. And then probably, probably this month, I maybe just want to double, like go from 10 grand to 20 grand. You know, um, I think I overestimated how straightforward it would be, the course and everything. And I'm realizing like, okay, there's some stuff we got to put in here. We got to take our time and make this right, whatever. But, you know, I've got a meeting with our, our head of customer success today, maybe tomorrow. And we're going to go into that and, and, and dial it in. Um, but yeah, month month four, month five, you can start to see how uh, you know my, my, my goals here kind of pan out. Um, you know, there's a few stages, right? So you have to first establish proof of concept. So really, proof of concept is happy customers, profitable and scalable economics, right, and a repeatable sales process. Like if you have those things, then you can scale a business, right? And we have those things about 70, 80 percent. So like the sales process isn't quite like dialed in. It's, it's pretty different called call still. A really talented salesperson could probably come in and do it, right? Um, but I don't want to have to shoot for super talented people. I'd love to have something that's a bit more streamlined. Um, so there's that. And then also um, um, our, our economics are good, but not great. Like we're profitable, but I want to be making more profit. I think at the end of the day, counting all costs, we made like six grand, you know? So it's like, you know, a decent test, a decent start. Um, but I know that those will shrink as we bring on more team, as we have uh, more students and, and, and more problems there. So yeah, that's, that's kind of what's going on there. So this is just first month wrap up. So let me talk about the funnel now. I literally just show you the, uh, the funnel. So this is it. This is, this is the funnel we are running. So it's a VSL funnel, okay? Now the plan is to actually test a few funnels. I'm testing a video sales letter funnel, and then I'm gonna test a long format webinar funnel. And I'm also gonna test something that I have some buddies doing really, really well with, which is basically uh, influencer Instagram shout outs to your Instagram page, and then you kind of funnel them into your LinkedIn bio or into a setter in the DM. And I wanna test all of this, and basically I'm just, I'm just looking for, um, Highest ROI and highest quality of call, basically, you know, um, and obviously you can dial in any of those things, but I'm super experimental right now. And I like the VSL because it's just very few moving pieces, right? It's literally just one video and I whipped together the video. I, I think it's my second shot at the video. The first one was okay, made it better. The second VSL video is doing really well. It's booking us calls who are closing. So um, I'll explain each stage of the funnel. So obviously, we got the opt-in. I'm split testing the opt-in right now um, just to see which one gets us a better uh, opt-in rate. The video itself, um, man, I, I feel like <laughs> this is a whole video in of itself explaining the actual video, right? Because as it stands, like, I mean, it's a 15-minute long piece of content, and it, there's a lot of psychology that goes into it. So I probably will make another video about that if you guys are interested and I can dive into actually what I say and how I say it and like, you know, you know, the format of this, because there's a way to take somebody from not knowing who you are to knowing who you are, believing in you and then reserving a call. And you just have to be really, really good at, you know, that. And that's something that I've, I've written yet now for my own business, tons of VSLs for clients, businesses, way more. And I've helped them copyright position their offers. Like that's something that that's my brain hangs out and like positioning and copywriting and how to like hack authority and create intent. Like that's, that's my brain, you know? And so that was a relatively straightforward thing for me to do. Um, but honestly, it like, I'm not tooting my own horn here. It could be way better. Like for real, there are, there definitely exists a better video sales letter for this offer out there in the universe. And I just need to make it a reality. You know, I need to freaking tap into that wavelength and make a better one. I know that that's one thing that if I did that, could really skyrocket this thing. Um, 
then you got your schedule page, right? So after they watch the video, they're sent to a schedule page. Due to high volume of calls, we cannot offer reschedules, right? We use once hub, uh, um, schedule once for this. And then we ask them some basic questions. So their name, email, phone number. This is a good way to get a tell on how much money they have, basically. So we're asking them how much monthly income would you need to generate to replace your income? This tells us, right? Uh, so that way, like, we have a good idea of how much they make. This is just a good idea of, like, you know, when people say they've never made anything outside of a job, it's, like, usually not the best fit, but we can still make it work. I think we've had a handful of sales calls here that I think a lot of our sales calls are this, and they, none of them have closed. The ones who have closed are, like, some small side hustles, but nothing full-time. So they're not, like, totally foreign to the idea of making their own money. Current occupation, that gives us a good idea of, like, you know, what they currently do. Can you commit to the time... Um, at, that you selected please don't reserve a call unless you can be there because like we just you know no shows were a problem there for a sec and then if you absolutely knew this would work with you for you what would be your budget to invest in a mentorship i'm probably going to change this wording i had a better wording um i don't like this wording basically i just don't think it's good <laughs> i think it scares people away i think um the wording and i'll probably just update this live actually with you guys here um do 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 what I would like it to be ideally is booking form. Um, how much access to startup capital do you have? So I'm just going to make this change real quick. All right, so we went ahead and updated that. So now it's, I like this a lot more. How much access to startup funds do you currently possess and have immediate access to? And I'll probably actually add a little more context to it. There we go. I think this will be good right here. Um, it just keeps them from being afraid of mentioning that. Because obviously the more they have, you know, they get a little more priority in the in the CRM and a closer or myself, you know, would give them a call before the before the meeting or whatever. So uh yeah, that's that's the funnel, right? And then after they schedule, this is a really, really important page here. This is our thank you page. Arguably the most important page in any uh, sales call based business. Like if your thank you page isn't dialed in, uh, you're losing a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of money. So I'll probably go through this page a little bit. So this is basically, um, confirm your call by following the instructions on the video below, right? Otherwise the meeting will automatically cancel. This could look better, but all right, you can see I'm saying congrats on booking a call, uh, telling them to text us the word booked. Commit to the time you've selected. Confirm the call on your email. Um, next step, please prepare any questions and come prepared to have a productive conversation. Keep in mind, this is a paid program, but we offer a money back promise. Um, zero risk. Due to the high volume of calls, we simply cannot allow reschedules. And we even say that we have a $50 cancellation fee if you decide to cancel your meeting um, just to protect our time. And this helps a ton with getting show ups. So come ready to make a decision. We want serious people in our community. Um, you'll be speaking with people who have actually done it. Optional step is watch this training video beneath this video here, right? And so then what we do is we have what internally I call a core value video. And this is a great piece of content. Um, this helps so much with warming leads. Like if you could just give away value right out the gate, um, people think that their marketing should be giving away value. But the problem with giving away value is if they're not sold on the vehicle, then getting value doesn't even matter, right? So you got to sell them on the vehicle first and how good the vehicle is, then deliver the value. So if they're booking a call, then they're sold on content connecting, which is our mechanism. At that point, then we can deliver some value. So in this video, we're just like giving some really, really good training. So you can see here in this training, uh, our story from zero to full-time online working remote. So this is Tom, our head of uh, student success, who actually does this business. The math behind 10 grand a month with content connecting and then tips to landing your first client, right? Um, and this is all, you know, covered in this video. So we just kind of dive into each piece of this. And, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty valuable piece of training. You know, we're just referencing Tom's experience. He's, we're talking about how to get initial clients. Like a little hack that we share is like using the uh, Instagram close friends story to tag people with your content so that people see it. That's how actually Tom got me as a client. Um, and so, yeah, pretty, pretty sick, you know, pretty cool little thing. Like I'm really happy with how it's coming along. Like, uh, let me show you the uh, ads too. 
So here I'm in Hyros, and if you don't know Hyros, it's just like a really, really good tracking tool for Facebook and YouTube ads. If I'm just counting the, uh, the ads that um, worked, we're at a 9x return on cash, which is really, really, really good. Um, like really, really good. But the, the problem is obviously, you know, we have ads that didn't work and that's not the whole story. So the whole story is like, we're probably like 3.5x on cash. Arguably we could get to like five or six X on cash. I really do think that that's possible. Um, we've got a really, really good thing here, right? And you can see these three, these, this ad is the main one that's, that sort of spins. So I'll kind of show you guys this real quick. It's such a simple ad. It's really just a ridiculously simple ad. Hey, if you're a kingdom-minded man, I want to introduce you to a career opportunity that exists right now. Come register for this training video. I'm going to break it down. This opportunity enables you to work from anywhere, uh, you know, travel if you want to, work from home. You're going to get paid on retainer basis from clients where you don't even have to deliver the service that you're selling. You basically just have to learn how to go out and sell the service. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you at all, come register for this training video. I'm going to break it all down for you. You know, one of my close friends, Cam, has been succeeding with this model for a very long time now. And uh, I said, you know what, let's help more people get into this because it's just such a legitimate opportunity. It's not a fad. It's not something that's going to burn out. You don't have to put your face out online. You don't have to have any startup cost. You just have to learn a skill and get out there. And uh, clients will actually pay you monthly uh, once you sign them up. And again, you don't have to really render much time at all on your behalf. So if that sounds interesting to you, come register. Uh, you know, obviously I guarantee no results. We're just going to explain the model. That's it. And then at the end of the training, if you want to get our help and you're interested in getting our support, you can reserve a discovery call with us, learn a bit more about our academy and how we've been helping people get started in this. Uh, but yeah, see you on the inside. See you there. So that's all like the tactical, practical stuff, right? I mean, the thing that I'm probably not, I haven't gone into much yet. And I want you guys to like, tell me what you want to see. Like I'll go into basically anything, you know, I want to be like a super open book regarding this thing. Um, but the thing that I want to maybe go into a bit more would be um, like uh, the, the philosophy and like the principles that are making this work. You know, I, I think it's really easy to get lost in the tech and like the different softwares that we use and the ads and what we say and why we say it and the strategies and everything. But high level, um, I think it's important to be on the same page about like why people even buy coaching programs and then talk a bit about like why this is working and the, the, the philosophy behind like getting somebody to believe in a mechanism or a strategy and then taking them from believing in it to booking a call regarding a program to discover it, you know? And there's a reason why I went more curiosity based in my marketing. If you notice the ad, I don't say what it is. And that's because I want to really scale this way out. Like, I mean, I want to have a business that if I have the right leadership, within the business, it could be like a million dollar a month, like business, you know what I mean? Or at least a half a million a month business. Um, I don't have a lot of interest in like leading a lot of the internal teams to do that, but I probably will bring in leaders to do that, you know, um, if we do do that. And I want to have a business that can scale there. And, and I also wanted to differentiate from the market. So there's a lot of reasons why, but um, let me talk a little bit about and, and kind of draw it out for you maybe. I'm thinking maybe I could use my whiteboard or I'll just use a whiteboard here on my screen here. Um, you know, there's this framework that I learned um, from actually Alex Becker, and it was uh, one of his programs back in the day. And it's uh, this idea of the double diamond, whoops, the double diamond and the triple diamond. So what this is, is essentially it's a framework that helps you visualize the idea of shifting beliefs to get people to take actions that you want them to take, right? So. Double diamond means you only have to shift like two major beliefs. So you have one belief and then another belief, right? Um, triple diamond is you have to shift usually three beliefs. So triple diamond uh, marketing means they're not even aware of the mechanism. Double diamond marketing is they're usually aware of the mechanism and you're teaching them a better way to do it, right? So like this is great for B2B marketing, right? People who are already aware, like for example, people who already know funnels, already know ads or already know freaking whatever, but are just being like, Hey, this is a better way to do the thing that you already know how to do. Triple diamond is they don't even know. So you're going to like super cold traffic. And the thing about that is it enables you to totally own the conversation. So like, instead of saying, Hey, I want to help you start like a, a short form content business. You know what I mean? Um, I'm like, we, there's a skill set that you can learn. There's an industry that you can tap into. And that massively expands the market that I can go after. Right. And that's kind of a preemptive decision 
because you know, I want to have a business that if I wanted to, I could get it there. You know what I mean? If I were to go after people who already know what short form content is, already kind of understand that you can sign clients or that like, that's a, such, such a smaller market, right? I so said, it's just like a personal decision. I could probably do a couple hundred grand a month going after that market, but they're way more aware and it's way more competitive. You know what I mean? You can notice that the ad doesn't speak to anything regarding like content, basically. Uh, then the video sells them on the mechanism. So the video is there to sell them on the mechanism. I could probably make another video that goes into the video. You know what I mean? And this enables me to have massive scale because the ad can be shown to basically any man who, you know, is somewhat religious, you know, um, or even Christian and wants uh, to supplement their income or learn a new skill, right, to, to make some money on the internet. You know what I mean? Um, and then there's the actual uh, call itself. So my philosophy, and I, I don't know that anybody ever really taught me this, it's just something I kind of like thought of is like, you have to first sell them on the mechanism, then you have to sell them on you, and then you have to sell them on the program in order. So this is really how you sell coaching. Sell them on the idea, sell them on you, sell them on the program. Some people lead with the person, but when you're going into cold markets, people are inherently like distrusting. Like selling the person first is really, really, really difficult. If you can make a strong case for just a mechanism, it's like, look, this is so simple. You just make short form content for businesses and they pay you like 200, 500, 1,000 bucks a month, 2,000 bucks a month, right? Like super understandable mechanism. And you can hire editors, you use AI to do it, like so many ways to do it. And then I sell them on me. So the actual video itself is really designed to sell them on the mechanism and myself. And then a little bit on the program, the thank you page especially sells the program with that uh, video, that educational video. Um, and then the sales call itself is where you wrap up that sale on the program, right? Now, if I sold them on the mechanism, myself and the program all in the video, then that's, where, that's why I wanna test a longer form webinar, like a 45 to, like, to 60 minute long webinar where it does all of that. So by the time somebody books a call, they're pre-sold. But the problem with that is I just, it's just so much more work and if it means having to do a little bit more on a sales call, that's fine for now. You know what I mean? So the ad kind of comes before all of this. So it's like the ad creates curiosity. Then we move into selling on the mechanism. Then we move into selling on me. Um, and then we move into selling on the program. So it's really a curiosity based marketing thing. And that's why I'm talking about this double diamond, triple diamond thing. B2B is like, they aren't curious. They already know what they need and you're just giving them a better way to do it. Whereas triple diamond is you move them from curiosity to sold on the mechanism to sold on the program. So it's just a really simple way of visualizing a marketing process. You know, people don't, they tend not to understand like what stages of the marketing process they need to say what. And that's where people kind of tend to get lost is like, they just kind of say everything all at once. You know what I mean? And they think that in their ad, they should teach. And then in the video, they should sell a little bit. And on the call, they should just like hang out and be like, they don't, they, they don't think in terms of like linear processes of from when somebody first sees your thing, to like that last moment, like what you say in order to create a conversion, you know? Um, so B2B works really, really well. It's like, hey, listen, if, if the coach you're working with hasn't gotten you to at least six figures a month, I want you to come check out, like I've got a better way of doing it or whatever, you know what I mean? If mechanism isn't working, I've got better mechanism, you know what I mean? Um, kind of thing, that, that works really, really well. That's double diamond. It's moving them from one way of thinking to another way of thinking, right? Whereas triple diamond is there is no way of thinking. Then you introduce a way of thinking and then you capitalize on that way of thinking. And that's why I wanted to do a VSL funnel is because that is an extremely scalable system. That can, you know, again, if I had the right leadership or if I had the margin, like honestly, being honest, like I just don't have any interest in like leading a team, a sales team of like six people. You know what I mean? Like I just don't, like it's not something that I wanna do. Um, if I had the right leader who really believed in the mission and wanted to be a part of this, they could come and they could do it. You know what I mean? Um, I'll probably lead like two or three salespeople. You know what I mean? And that probably will produce a quarter million a month. You know what I mean? Maybe 300 grand a month. Um, Cause I honestly think somebody who's really good at sales and studies sales more in depth could sell this better than me. Like I'm good at sales, but I know that somebody who does it 24 seven could probably close these better than I could. Um, so this is kind of like how I think about it, right? Like the, the funnel, I kind of look at it like this. It's top to bottom, ad creates curiosity, video introduce new beliefs, and then call capitalizes on those beliefs to make a sale. 
So I'm, I'm basically just systematically introducing beliefs, right? Introducing new ideas. And going after, you know, a faith-based market, a uh, Christian market, is, uh, it's like a double whammy. It's like I'm passionate about it myself because I am a Christian. And I think more Christians need to do better. Like that's, I really do believe that Christians uh, have this like whole wackadoodle view on like money and stuff. So I want to help them make more money, you know. Um, and then I and then it also builds more trust. You know, I know a lot of like, like for example, you know, uh, black women business coaches like they kill it because it's just like there's like a group uh, identity that that speaks to and people feel like they can relate to that experience, and so you can build trust so much quicker. So it's no coincidence that all of our students have been young um, Christian men, right? And that's because that's like who we're going after. So you gotta go who you're going after, introduce a mechanism, make a case for that mechanism, make a case for the program that can drive that mechanism quicker than they could on their own. And really a lot of our sales are like speed and don't know what I don't know, or they understand the value of mentorship. Because in the video, the VSL video, which maybe I'll make another video about, I'm describing the value of mentorship and how myself, if it weren't for me getting mentorship, I wouldn't have created the success that I'd initially created, you know, rendering digital marketing services, right? So look, this is like super high level stuff, right? Um, if you guys want, I'd love to reveal more information. You know what would be dope? Actually, let me do this. I had a call with my students in my main program and this is at the beginning of this idea being formed. I'm going to clip that at the end of this kind of spontaneously. This is going to be a really freaking long video, but I hopefully, hopefully it's valuable to you. I'm just going to clip that at the end of this. And that's going to go even further into like what the beginning of it was. And um, you can sort of see how this has like come to be, right? So uh, yeah, enjoy that. I'm not going to work on CB. It's more like uh, CB is going to benefit from this thing winning because it's just going to be like, hey, you know, we're actually doing the thing that we teach, right, um, kind of thing. So I've got some leadership lined up and people that I want to bring into that business. So does that sound like a cool way to like, I can do like 10, 15 minutes of like what I'm working on, if that would be valuable for you guys, like my mindset, how I'm positioning the offer, my thoughts about it, how I'm moving into the market. And like, it might not even play out, right? Like, what's that scripture verse in Proverbs that says like, do not speak highly of your future for you have no idea what the plan you, you, you don't know what's gonna happen you know what i mean i don't know what's gonna happen it's just an idea right now but it is an exciting idea so walk you guys through that and then we could just kind of talk about whatever's valuable for you guys i will have to end at the top of the hour today if that's all right so we've got the hour so i'm gonna make my stuff quick and then we just talk about whatever you guys want sound good yeah I, I love hearing about people's plans and i I know the same thing you're saying is like, everyone's like, don't talk about your plans until you do them. But it's like, yeah, sometimes it's important to get it out there. So it, you manifest it into creation. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So I hope that you guys can just like see the relationship between what I train you guys on and how I'm approaching this. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I teach. Like nothing is changing. Nothing. Um, that module, are you guys familiar with Taiwan and Natalie, you're the ones that are kind of cameras on engaged. You guys familiar with that uh, module in CB, like zero to 500 grand a month, like that thing that I built? You guys watch that by chance? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. I watched, I binge watched all the modules when I first joined the first week. So now I need to go back and rewatch all of them to remember. Okay, sweet. So, I mean, I'm basically just doing that, right? So starting with the Instagram model, starting small not putting a lot of ad spend up unless we know that it's going to work. I'm literally going to start with like a five grand budget, which might sound like a lot, but you know, like not a lot of money. Um, what I've done up until this point is, so I, I've got scale in mind, mostly because I don't have the time to do it all myself. Like CB's already enough. You know what I mean? Like d playing support here, thinking of ideas here. So I've got lined up already a few key pieces of the business. So I'm a team person. I love teams. I love I love, I'm a visionary. I'm a big thinker. I'm, I'm an up here guy. So I started with uh, head of delivery and head of sales. I've already got them lined up. They know that this is, if it's a dud, then we become friends. But if it works out great, then we'll give it more time. Um, so the offer, I'll just, I'll just get right into it. The offer is this, this is what we're going to be building. So, uh, all right, so here we go. This is, this is what we're building. So I don't know what we're going to call it. I've got some ideas. 
Um, it's going to be very Christian oriented. You know, that's my faith. And I, I really encourage you guys to include your, your worldview and things that are important to you in what you do. Like, don't just make it the thing, make it the thing with a, with a real, real cause. Right. So like what we're going to call it. And again, this is a pure idea right now. What's up, Anya? It's so good to have you on a call. So good to have you in here. Um, what we're going to call it is probably Kingdom Creator, Content Academy, something like that. Content to Freedom Network, Content Connector School. We're not really sure right now, but the vision of the company, and this is what I'm going to be working on, and candidly, being super vulnerable with you guys, a lot of this, it, it's two things. A, I love CV. I love what I get to do with you guys. But there's a part of my creative soul that is just like, I just want to like go and do like what I've been training on for so long. Um, so our, what we're doing is we're going to help uh, particularly men, particularly Christian men. You're kind of niching down a little bit, like, like I encourage you guys to do, making it more mission oriented. That buys your team into it as well. So our idea is to spread the gospel, advance the kingdom of God by empowering men with a timeless skill and a growing industry to create escape velocity. Enough time and earning potential to look beyond their current circumstances. Look, look, you know, you, you, get the, you get the idea. It's bigger than just a coaching business. So and, and from day one, you have to have this. It's bigger than just a freaking coaching business kind of mindset. You know, and I really want you guys to have this in your business. So like, yeah, you're a coach. Yeah, you're here to make some money. But like, why? What are you really doing? We talk about the second, third, fourth order consequence of what you're actually doing for people. and. And if you don't lead with that, like your own heart starts to kind of rot with it, to be honest. So I, I, I'm starting with this stuff because I want to have a team out the gate. Now, these will be part time team. And we're, if it starts to become profitable, we'll go, well, these people will come more full time. Some really skillful people um, who I'll introduce you guys to as the business goes along. You'll, you'll know their names here. But uh, and by the way, Cam is not Cam who, who was on our team. Cam is a different Cam. So company values, student obsessed, no stone unturned, centers over goals, test small scale. But you're kind of familiar with the value stuff that I teach. Here's the core offer, and I'll zoom in. This is what I'm going to be working on. So I'm going to be bringing this to CB as it goes along. Um, young or new family age men, so 21 to 35, who are either in a 9 to 5 or who have ambitions to succeed as an entrepreneur and need a great place to start. That challenges them to grow and teaches lifelong skills. What we're going to teach them is how to attract content management clients, which is actually a business that I did way back in the day that led me into doing a marketing agency. This is like when I was like 16. So I've got some experience with it, but I'm way better at everything now and I could teach it better. And our head of delivery, his name is uh, Cameron. He will be, uh, not the Cameron that you guys know, a different Cameron. He will be building all the course content, doing all that, because he actually has like a 30 to 40 grand a month content uh, agency which is really cool. So the mechanism, the thing that, you know, what I teach this to you guys, who's it for? What's the outcome? What's the mechanism you're, you, you use to make it different? And I've got some other mechanisms and some other messaging stuff that I've written to clarify our messages we're moving into the market here. But mechanism is leveraging AI or a small virtual assistant content team to deliver. So the idea is you can attract clients and like not have to do a lot of work. And optionally, because of the com the company that Cameron, who's our head of delivery, already works with, we can manage the content for you. We're just going to teach you how to get clients. So we're going to teach people how to, you know, do some networking, send some messages. Uh, the guy who I, I paid him thirty five hundred bucks a month to do our content in our company now for seven months, and his strategy was epic. He literally just made a bunch of content for free. Said, "Post this. Let me know how it does. If you like it." Let's get on a call. And I was like, that's awesome. So I did that. So we're probably going to teach that model. I really like that model. Um, and the price tag is going to be 60, 100 bucks and 400 bucks a month. So, you know, I don't have this in CV and training anywhere, but I really do love this recurring model because it helps you have like an exit plan if you ever wanted to have it. So one of the problems with, and even though CB, I see it as like a ministry and it's like my heart's work and I love what I do. There's no real exit plan. Like if, if, if we did like a half a million a month consistently, like, it's like, what do I just like slow things down? Then I'm not making anything from this for months until the client accounts end. So you need to start, a, if you're going to scale a business, you need to start with the exit plan in mind. So the exit plan would be just stop acquiring clients and just serve the clients that are in there, man. You know, get, get 100, 200 clients in the group. And uh, we're going to have these quarterly events and stuff. 14 day, no questions asked refund policy for anybody. And core deliverables, quarterly client meetups. We're going to help retain the MRR. We're going to do some worship and prayer, dude. And just like pour into these men. Uh, I feel really blessed and lucky that I'm a man and a Christian man and succeed in business. And so I feel like I have like a heart for this. Um, we're going to do three X a week group calls, one with Cam, who's our head of 
uh, delivery, and two, that'll be pure lead. So Cam will, Cam will coordinate this. Very similar to what we've done in CB. Very similar model. Uh, DM help anytime. Detailed online course outlining client attraction mindset, step-by-step -step case studies with other students. Going into the whole gamut. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing there. And then the messaging, some ideas I've had with messaging. There are hundreds of thousands of businesses and brands that, you know, need someone to manage their content. Very simple business model. Very easy to understand for basically anybody, right? So one of the things that I'm thinking about as I'm scaling a business is, how can I make the core value super simple to understand, right? Like you, you guys know what I'm talking about, like in the messaging, in the IG training, I'm like, hey, make a case, right? Like make a case that your thing's better. Your way of doing things is better, right? So I've just really been like thinking like, what's a better way for people to reach the outcome of an internet-based business, right? And it's like, this is a great model. Like I really feel like anybody could do this. You know what I mean? Like this, it does, it's not a stretch of the imagination that like anybody can learn how to do this. You know what I mean? So you just kind of build your business around things that it's like, oh, this is very easy to communicate. Okay. Um, I started with a similar business and I've now gone on to do millions online because it opens so many doors for me. So one of my initial clients, I don't talk about this as much, was 700 bucks a month, this local coffee shop called Breakhouse Coffee that uh, I did this stuff for them. I managed their page. I did a little bit of marketing consulting too, but this is like my, one of my first businesses. So I kind of know it. And then most online businesses require startup costs, which doesn't, it's pure skill and, and it's something that anybody can learn. So you guys see how I've kind of like thought through my angle long before I've like gotten into it. I'm just like, how can I really like make something that's kind of like a no brainer? You know what I mean? Like it's mission driven. So it's, 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 you guys know the trifecta of influence. So I've mapped that out already, who I am in my background with this, the new opportunity, which is becoming like a leveraged content distributor or whatever we're gonna call it. And then the cause, which is like kingdom men. Right. So we've got we've got a cause, we've got an opportunity, and we've got a character leading all of it. And that's a model that you guys are all familiar with. So I've thought all of that kind of through here. And again, and I want to preface all of this by saying this could like go for a month and then like totally not be worth the time. And then, you know, I call it quits and it was just a fun case study, right? Or it could go really well. So because I have seven figure scale in mind out the gate, I'm le I'm starting with interviewing people. And, and getting the core talent in place. So head to delivery. They're going to be fully responsible for student results. Fully responsible. Like if somebody's not happy, it's like their fault, right? It's, I call them. <laughs> like why are they not happy? What's going on? So, you know, they're going to do the group calls, build the core course content. I actually can bring in pre-leg coaches to student body over time. Same model I teach you guys. So they're going to get 10% of top line cash. Okay. Head to, and, and again, so we're going to start with part-time. Give this like a day a week. As it starts to become profitable, Come give it more of your time, right? Because and that that's how I'm doing it. The stage that you guys are at, pioneer it yourself, get in there, do the one man show thing, prove it out, get the skills, do it, man. Get in there, get your hands dirty. We've had some clients in CB like, oh, it's not working. I'm like, well, how many sales calls have you taken? They're like, well, I booked two myself, and then I started looking for a closer. I'm like, well, that's the problem, dude. Get in there and get good at this thing, right? Um, so head of sales, in charge of personally setting and DM and phone setting and uh, selling clients to start and eventually bring on a sales underneath them. So they're going to do 7% of top line cash. If they want more, we can do more. These are all moving um, moving percentages uh, because, you know, I, I, I believe in that. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't have like, we're going to stick to this for years. I don't know if any of you have ever hired and you gave them a percentage, you're like, man, that's way more or way less than they should be getting paid. Like that sucks. So moving percentages for everything. Then head of marketing is going to be me. Head of operations be Ty within our company. Uh, um, and me, I'm going to take all the cost, financial risk, reputation, risk. I'm going to be face of the thing. And I'm going to be in charge of coordinating the leadership team, make sure everything's profitable and keeping the long term in mind. So these are kind of our marketing and sales aims, all costs incurred by me. So we're just going to build an Instagram page, right? I'm going to put up everything, all the content, just like I teach you guys. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead with a, you know, a very faith oriented message here. These are kind of my, these are like my month to month aims. Now these might not get hit, but this is literally just what I showed the guys who I want to be a part of the leadership team. I found some really cool people here and I just showed them this and, you know, this is what got them excited about the opportunity. Um, so, uh, yeah, you guys can read this unknown timeline to get initial proof of concept. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm in no rush. Again, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm not betting on this by any means. And that's, I think you kind of have to have an abundance mindset with whatever you do anyway. You know what I mean? And just really make it mission driven.
And that's how it'll work. Um, month two, month three, still, you know, at this point, it's just Cam, Tyler, Trey. Tyler is our head of sales. He's going to be our setter and closer until he's the head of sales. He has ambitions to become a head of sales. And he's, you know, I, I, we've corresponded for a long time. And I think he's really got the skills to do it. Um, and then, yeah, ultimate goal. I, I'd love for this to be a, a big business. I think CB um, could be this. But the problem is, um, I mean, it's just, there's just messaging problems with it. I, and I also, I want co helping people. Uh, starting their coaching business be a bit more intimate. That's the idea. Um, and these are some names. So yeah, when I when I get an Instagram page together, I'll, I'll show you guys where to follow it, and you can you can peep it. Just, just please don't waste the sales team's time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean that's that's what I'm working on, right? So this came together. We'll see we'll see how it works, right? I mean I mean you got to think like an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur thinks like, how much am I getting back for what I'm putting into this? You know what I mean? And if I'm getting, if I'm not getting enough out for what I'm putting in, then something's broken. You know, something is broken. So I'm gonna put up a little bit of financial risk, a little bit of time risk, put some time into it, keep it mission oriented in the day to day as I'm communicating with clients and stuff, but keep it very economically oriented behind the scenes. You know, holding that. Um, there's a tension you have to hold as a coach between being very numbers driven and economics driven and being very people driven. It is a tension. You know, and you have to hold that tension um, with a lot of grace, you know, because it's like, well, if it's very impact driven, but you're losing money every month, you're not holding that tension very well. You know, you got to fix something. Um, but if you're making a bunch of money, but your clients hate you, it's like, OK, you're not holding that tension, you know. So uh, that's the idea, right? So you guys can see that model that I teach you guys, right? You can see the parallels here, uh, you know, start with the outcome in mind. Not what you're going to teach. Start with an outcome and a mission of driving that outcome. Right? What's your mechanism? What's your unique mechanism that can position you as better than alternatives in the market? Right. When I look at like the space of like internet money and stuff, first of all, there's just not a lot of like kingdom oriented uh, businesses out there. There's a few that are doing it really, really well. But also the models that people teach, uh, they don't really create lifelong skills. Like I want to get people into a model where if you get good at this, it opens so many doors, right? Like if you can do content for businesses, that opens so many doors. And for me to open some earlier doors, now I didn't get it to 10 grand a month because I pivoted, but I know that it could work. So, and then the cool thing is too, and this isn't something that is a framework that I can download to you guys. This is just like my entrepreneurial brain thinking. It's like, dude, these guys can take you guys as clients, you know, 500 bucks a month. Have some young dude who's like super passionate on fire about serving you, helping you grow your business, like run your content for you. Like, heck yeah. You know, take clips from your group calls, put them up there, get you leads for your business. So when you get to a certain point, you kind of have to like find ways where all things can fit together. And um, honestly, I've just been giving it to the Lord, you know, and just letting him like guide like the steps. And whether you believe in the same God or not, you got to sometimes you just have to like give it to a higher power. Just be like, all right, like. I'm going to stop using my own intellectual brain. I'm just going to like flow with it. And and sometimes I, I think people are so attached to getting results this month and now that they don't end up building something they're really excited about and that can really 